Inazuma is right around the corner. We have less than two weeks until it is out. Patch 2.0. And a lot of you may be wondering what you should do and how you should prepare. So this video is for you. This is my Inazuma preparation guide. The first thing you want to do is finish the Golden Apple Archipelago. Do everything in it. And the reason is because it goes away when Inazuma comes out. You'll never be able to access this area again. So you want to do everything you can in it and get all the rewards you can in all those Primo Gems, most importantly. So that means doing all the hidden quests, do the Echoing Conches, Painted Walls, Harpastrum Challenges, Time Trials, and Chests. All of them give rewards, and all of them, I believe, give Primo Gems, so that's important. And even more importantly, is even the Common Chests give Primo Gems. So instead of sometimes Common Chests not giving you Primo Gems, they will give you two. And then the Chests above that give five, the Chests above that give ten, and then the Chests above that give twenty. So. That's how you want to do. You want to get every single one of the chests. And I have an interactive Mac. I'll link it in the description. I know not everyone can use this, but if you can use this, like PC players too, because um, it's just convenient because it's already online for you, um, use this map. You can just check off things once you're done with them so that you can just go through and do everything. It's really good. I've been using it since the beginning of the game. And it's just so nice. And you can clear everything out and you don't have to worry about not doing something or not doing this. It's all done, and you can just check it off when you're done with it. There's the first thing you want to do. You want to complete everything in the Golden Apple Archipelago because it's going away when Inazuma comes out, so you'll never be able to access it again. Another thing you want to do is make sure you have Mora. I know you don't have Mora. I know. Everyone forgets about Mora. I forget about Mora. You forget about Mora. Everyone forgets about Mora. It's all about those Primo Gems. You always want those Primo Gems, so... You forget about Mora, but you need Mora. You got the Primo Gems, you got your 5-star character, you got these cool artifact sets, you know these new artifact sets coming out? But you can't upgrade them, you don't have any Mora. So get Mora. The easiest way to get Mora, really quick, you can get 150,000 each week just from doing the weekly bounties and requests. You get 20k from each request and you can do 3 of those, and you get 30k from bounties and you can do 3 of those. If As long as you're doing the highest level bounty. If you don't do the highest level bounty, it's a little less. But who's not doing the highest level bounty? I mean, what's the point? Another way to get Mora is open up that adventure book and start tracking elite enemies. In addition to getting Mora too, you will also get these upgrade materials for weapons, characters, whatever. You know, you'll get all these upgrade materials in addition to getting that Mora. So it's really good to track those elite enemies. Another way you can get Mora is you can do the Blossoms of Wealth, those ley lines. I do not recommend doing them. They are a waste of resin, but you can. But there's another cool way you can get some Mora. If you have a bunch of artifacts, I know a lot of people have been playing forever. I've been playing forever. I had uh, max artifacts, or I've had max artifacts for months, you know. I did take a break, but I, ha I had uh, max artifacts before I took a break. You know, I was at a thousand out of a thousand, right? You can destroy, uh, what is it? Three star or below artifacts, four star or below artifacts actually, and you get more from doing it. So if you have things that you're not even going to use as fodder to upgrade things or upgrade artifacts, use that, de destroy them, get more because they're just taking up space in your inventory anyways, stopping you from getting this other cool artifact that's actually good. So that was the Mora talk. You needed the Mora talk. Everyone needed it, okay? I know a lot of people are very low on Mora. There are some ways you can get more that are very easy, like bounties. Farming the elite enemies, not really that good, but at least it's not like resin inefficient, like uh, doing the Blossoms of Wealth. Alright, we go from the Mora talk to the Primo Gem talk. I know you want Primo Gems. I, most of the player base is going to be wishing on either the Ayaka or the Yoimiya banner. I'm going to be wishing on the Yoimiya. And in addition to that, they have weapon banners that go with them, so you want Primo Gems. You want to be able to get them, right? So. What can you do? What can you do to prepare for these characters? Well, firstly, do your daily commissions every day. 60 Primo Gems, bam, right there. You've got 60 Primo Gems for doing 15 minutes of work maximum. Do the Spiral Abyss to the best of your ability. The Spiral Abyss, I can't 36 star it. I could probably 36 star it if I uh, put some time into it, if I like, maybe put like an hour or two into it. Just do it to the best of your ability. And if you really want those Primo Gems, go hard and do the to the best of your ability. And you might be able to 36 star it. You might, um, if you're struggling. Achievements, oh my god. Did you know there's an achievement for dying to a boar? Just look up like all the hidden achievements and then look through also. Look through all the achievements. And just see, some of them are so easy. There's an achievement for killing the unusual hilly churl. There's a literal, um, the unusual hilly churl spawns in like 13 or 15 places only. Just do that. And you can do that and get like 20 primal gems for killing him 50 times. He spawns 
once I, I, I yeah, I'm not gonna go and do his mechanics, but still, there's just so many easy achievements to get, and then they're super duper easy to do. It's not even hard at all. So look into the achievements, look through, see the ones you can complete. There's also like the elemental reaction one isn't as hard as you think. The only reason you might not have achievements for it is because you don't use characters with those um, elements often, right? So it's actually not that hard to do those. And now I'm just going to stop talking about achievements because I could go on forever about how many achievements there are. Like literally dying to a boar. Come on. <laughs> That's free. That's free Primo Gems. Now, 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 there's this new area coming out, right? And it's going to have all these cool things. But why are you going to do the new area before you haven't even finished the old area? Leeway, Mondstadt, they have a lot of quests. Uh, I think Leeway has like 40? Um, I don't remember how many Mondstadt has, but there's a lot of quests. And if you go to the Bounty Lady, um, you can see what the quests are. And then once you see the quest you're missing, you can just go boop, 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 on the internet, look them up and how to do them, how to get them. Bam, you got some Primo Gems. Easy. And you also got some reputation if you're not max reputation. But I mean, come on. Like, in the game, like, come on. You can't, you're not max reputation yet? Look there. You're obviously not doing the bounties if you're not max reputation. So do those bounties for Mora. Anyways, on to chests. We got quests, now we got chests. My, my, there are so many chests. And this is where I'd say use the interactive Genshin map. Um, but a lot, it's really hard to use when you, you've like collected most of the chests and then there's like those few stragglers But there's also those locator thingies where you just like press the button and it goes boop And it searches in a big area around you and then it will like point to where the chest is Bam you got your chest those chests will give primal gems um, If they are above exquisite I believe exquisite is the thing above common Sometimes commons will give you um, Primo gems very rarely. I don't know like what the criteria is or what's so special about them why they give Primo gems, but still, just look around, find those chests. I would I recommend using the interactive map and just like filtering out those common chests, but keep the um, the exquisite, precious, and luxurious chests um, on the map. And then you can look around and go find all of those, and especially find all the luxurious chests. You can just there's like only a few of them. There's not many at all, and they're spread out through the map. So get those precious chests. But that's not where it ends. There's many other ways to get chests. You can do those bloaty floaties. You can do elemental monuments, pressure plates, sealies, torch puzzles, dig. There's so many things you can do to get chests. And all of them, I believe, will give you, uh, or most of them give you exquisite chests, not common chests. I think some of the bloaty floaties will give, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, most of them give you exquisite chests or higher. So you're getting primal gems from the chest. There you go. There's some Primo Gems for you. Another way to get Primo Gems is just invite companions in your Serena Teapot. With 1.6 added, they added this little ability to uh, invite characters to different furnishing sets. So a character will have a furnishing set. Once you build it and place it, you can invite that character to that furnishing set and you get 20 Primo Gems. It's really easy to do and it's basically just you, you just build a bunch of stuff and then once you get a set, you place that set and then you invite characters to it. It's so easy to do. I would 100% tell you to do this. Another thing you want to do is you want to do the Hoyo Lab check-in. There's a daily check-in online in a web browser and you check in every day and you get like 60 Primo Gems every month just from doing this. It's not a lot. I mean 60 Primo Gems every month. Come on. You get that in a day if you just do your daily commissions. But still, it's Primo Gems. So do it. It, you, you just, it takes you 10 seconds. You just go to the thing and then you click the thing and then bam, it's in your mail. Very easy to do. I recommend doing it 100%. The next thing you want to do is kind of like the Hoyo Lab uh, check-in. It's also a thing you have to do in a web browser, but it's called the Traveler's Picture Book. Basically, you go there, um, you do a few things, you paint, and you get rewards. It's very easy. It's not that hard at all. So that's everything having to do with Primo Gems. Uh, I'm probably forgetting something that gives you Primo Gems, but it's obviously not that big if I'm forgetting, right? Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, that's the Primo Gem stuff. Just do all those things. You'll have a lot of Primo Gems especially do your daily commissions. Oh my, 60 Primo Gems a day for just 15 minutes of work, very easy to do. So the last thing I wanna talk about is materials. And there's really not much to talk about with materials other than say about fragile, transient resin, and condensed resin for those new artifact sets. So you'll have a bunch of resin to use when those artifact sets come out and you can grind them and you don't have to wait for the um, your resin to refresh, right? Um, other than resin, you want character XP materials so you can upgrade your new shiny 5-star character once you get them, either Yoimiya or Ayaka. Uh, or maybe you're saving for another character, so it doesn't matter. But still, you want them. Uh, and you want enhancement ores for your weapons in case you get a new 5-star weapon. You know, you get that new shiny 5-star 
weapon for your new shiny five star character. Very cool, right? And you want to just upgrade them as fast as you can. Because you're already going to be time locked and you're going to have to use Resident into upgrading UI Mia or Ayaka. For example, UI Mia, she can get her materials from. She gets her materials from the, the Pyro Cube, which isn't out yet. She, there's obviously the ag uh, Agitate Fragment, which every character uses. Like, they all have a universal, um, like, shard thing for upgrading whatever their element is. But in addition to that, Yuan Mia has something that is exclusive to the cube. Same with Ayaka, she has something that's exclusive to another boss. Um, maybe for Ayaka, you can farm the Cryo or um, Cryo um, Registrine or Cryo Cube. Just because I think the boss that drops her materials also drops um, a bunch of other materials too. Um, like shard wise, so it's not like you're just getting the cryo one, you're also getting others. So maybe, uh, farm the cryo cube or red is fine. I don't know. I wouldn't say it. I think it's a waste of resin and you should wait to see. But whatever. Um, that's really it in the way of materials. You might want to get food. I mean, I wouldn't get, I don't really care about food that much. I never use food unless I'm fighting bosses just so they they go by faster or I can one phase them. Um, sometimes. Uh, there's really not much else. Maybe, maybe just for the Abdeptus' uh, temptation. But still. That's it. That's my Inazuma preparation guide. I talked about Mora, Primo Gems, Materials, and that's really it. Also, the Golden Apple Archipelago, make sure to finish that. Um, I have it linked in the description if you're looking to finish that or just looking for chests or anything. I have the interactive map linked in the description. Obviously, I know not everyone can use it, but if you are on PC, you know, you can just open it up in your web browser and bam, you can mar start marking things off. Make sure to sign in um, just because then your progress will save, right? And that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed my little Inazuma preparation guide, and I hope you got a lot of information out of it. Um, and now you know what to do, and you're not stressed. Oh no, what should I do with this time I have? There you go. I told you. So, I hope you enjoyed, and see ya.